Fellow Doolers, Dooley support team here. Today, I just wanted to share two new features that we've introduced in the software. Please ensure that you're on version 2.3.1 to make use of the features. Also, you should be prompted to update once you open the software, or you can always navigate to the members area to update. So the first feature that we've introduced is our new GIF animation. For the purpose of this demonstration, I've already imported two GIFs. So for example, let's drag Santa to our canvas. Let's change his size a bit. Let's grab the snowman. Let's change his size a bit. And then we'll go ahead and extend a bit. And then we'll see in the preview We'll see that Santa starts to dance. And then we'll also see the snowflakes on the snowman. So GIF animation, we know is something that, you know, a lot of our members have been asking for. So here it is. The next feature that we introduced is the option to add additional tracks. So I'll go to our sounds tab. And then if we go down here to our music icon, we'll see the new option here. If we click on this, it'll give you the option to add a track. Let's go ahead and add a track and scroll down and you'll see that a new music row has been created. So I'll go ahead and I'll put in my first musical choice here. And then I'll go ahead and I'll adjust it a bit. So let's say maybe around have it end about here. Then I'll go ahead and put in my next soundtrack, but I want it to start, let's say, at the end of the first one. Then I'll go ahead and adjust that one as well so that it aligns with my content. So I'll have it stop around right here. So now we'll have two rows of music. So let's go ahead and just preview that. So we'll see that we've added two different soundtracks, one on each row. The first one plays out and then it transitions into the sec second one based on where I've had added it in the timeline. You can also, if needed, add an additional track in between the ones that you already have. So for example, if I wanted to add one between these two, I would go to my first soundtrack and hit add track. And there you'll see the additional row here. If you wanted to add one below this one, you can also do the same thing and add a track and you'll see that additional row is created. If for any reason you need to remove a track, you can go back to the icon and remove the track. Of course, you'll get the prompt that asks you if you're you know, sure that you want to remove that audio track. Go ahead and hit OK, and it's gone. So these are just two of the new features that we've added for everyone in the software. And of course, if you have any questions or any concerns, please reach out to support at doodly.com. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.